What if I told you a fruit vendor in rural India just embarrassed every bank in Silicon Valley? No cash, no wallet, no card. Just a tap and money moves. Now imagine this, a fruit vendor in India accepting digital payments using just a QR code and the German foreign minister is stunned. People buying groceries but also being very impressed by your UP Unified Payments Interface, a digital instant payment system if you would just buy fruits on the street. I thought this would be impossible. No delay, no machines, no swiping. Just scan, confirm and done. This isn't just a tech story, it's a revolution. This is a story of UPI, India's Unified Payment Interface. Back in 2015, making a digital payment in India was painful. You had to manually add a bank account, wait hours and sometimes a whole day for it to activate. Then enter the long IFSC code and hope NEFT or IMPS don't fail. Card machines were rare and expensive. Merchants often said minimum 100 rupees sir, below that card cannot be accepted. Over 85% of all transactions in India were in cash. Digital payments were clunky, slow, exclusive. They weren't for chaiwalas or Sabjiwalas or a student. They were for the elite India was digitally locked out. Then came the turning point, April 2016. NPCI, the National Payment Corporation of India launched UPI and asked a simple question. Can money move as fast as WhatsApp message? The answer was yes. UPI worked 24 by 7. It was instant and Free. You didn't need a bank account number or IFSC codes, just a virtual payment address, a VPN, like a digital nickname for your bank account. And behind this revolution were some incredible minds. Nandan Nelikani, the brain behind Aadhaar and Infosys, Raghuram Rajan and Urjit Patel, backing the vision of RBI and Dilip Aspe leading the charge at NPCI. Together, they didn't just build a payment system, they built trust. But would the nation adopt it? Then came the unthinkable demonetization. November 2016, cash disappeared overnight and the UPI was ready. To break the grip of corruption and black money, we have decided that the 500 rupee and 1000 rupee currency notes presently in use will no longer be legal tender from midnight to night. Suddenly people needed an alternative fast and UPI became the answer. But this didn't happen by accident. India have been preparing 558 million Jandan bank accounts 1.2 billion Aadhaar IDs, mobile data prices from 300 rupees per GB in 2014 to 9 rupees per GB in 2022. The digital transformation was laid and the UPI raised forward. By June 2025, UPI processed over 8.39 billion transactions per month worth than 24 lakh crore rupees. That's around 290 billion US dollars every single month. That's 640 million transactions per day. And this wasn't just in big cities. It was in villages, on railway platforms, in the street corners, at temples. Scan, pay, move on. Digital became daily. So how does UPI work for a person who doesn't know? Let's break it down. You open the app, like Google Pay or Phone Pay in India, enter the amount, scan the QR code, enter the PIN, done. But behind that 
Simplicity is a beautiful, complex system. Your app is the payment service provider. It talks to the NPCI's UPI switch, which then talks to your bank, the remitter. The bank checks your PIN, confirms your balance, locks the fund. Then the switch sends to, uh, to its beneficiary bank, the receiver, then they get credited, you both get notified instantly. Even though actual statement between the banks happens in batches through the RBI, it's real time, secure, encrypted and built for billions. And now it's not just India, UPI is going global. Bhutan was the first to adopt it. UAE with over 60,000 outlets accepting UPI. Singapore linked pay now with UPI for real-time cross-border payments. France, even at the Eiffel Tower, Mauritius, Sri Lanka, and many more. Coming soon, Qatar, UK, Thailand, Malaysia, Oman, Maldives. Indian tourists can now pay rupees abroad. Foreign merchants can accept Indian payments and NPCI International is leading the charge. UPI is no longer just a fintech product, it's India's soft power, like K-pop in Korea, like semiconductors in Taiwan. But beyond global pride, let's talk about real lives. A woman in village pays school fees digitally, a delivery boy no longer carrying cash, a street vendor selling 10 rupees pani puri, and accepting payments with a QR code. Over 400 million individuals use UPI. Over 65 million merchants accept it. It's not just peer-to-peer. -peer. UPI is used for bills, insurance, donations, microloans. It's not a tool, it's an infrastructure. Yes, there are challenges, server issues, fraud risk, digital literacy, but India is adapting fast. So what made UPI truly succeed? It wasn't just the tech, it was the people. A billion people saying yes to a change. Engineers built it, government backed it, startups scaled it. But India, India made it move. A revolution doesn't always come with the protest. Sometimes it comes with a QR code. When people, policy and purpose aligns, magic happens. UPI is that magic. And if you are proud of this revolution, like this video, comment your thoughts and share it with someone who still thinks India is catching up. We didn't follow the world with UPI. We showed the world how it's done. Jai Hind!